What's up everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Taylor, and I'm playing one of the most interesting guitars I've ever played, and I know, it sounds like clickbait, but it's not. I'm actually uh, really, really surprised by this guitar a lot. This guitar belongs to my pal Simon, you guys have seen Simon on the channel before. So I was over at Simon's house nerding out over gear, as you do, and uh, he was like, hey, you should pick up that guitar and play it. It's really cool, and I was like, whoa, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it is a aluminum neck guitar, and now I believe this is a baritone too. It feels longer than, tw maybe it's like 27 inches? I'm not sure exactly. But this is a aluminum neck on like a Jazzmaster type body. It's like a pretty, pretty lightweight body. Really, really heavy neck. I'll put on a strap here in a second, we'll see how bad the neck dive is. It's just really cool and really interesting, and you get some very, very interesting results with it. Now, if you're wondering why there's a cabinet here and there's no head, don't, don't worry about that. This cabinet is just hiding some boxes, some clutter that I have in this room. I'm playing through a plug-in right now. It's a Bogren BDH-3, it's like the 5153 amp knob plug-in. Now, I'm not doing that for any particular reason, but one of the advantages of doing it this way is I thought I would be able to show you some DI tracks from this guitar, you know, because it's pretty unique how it sounds. <laughs> So right away, you'll probably notice the ridiculous amount of sustain that this guitar has. Really kind of crazy. And it's not just sustain like in the low end either. It's sustain throughout the whole frequency spectrum. So it makes it very interesting for playing like super heavy chuggy stuff. <laughs> I don't know, the way everything bleeds together, it just, it sounds really like tight and percussive and in your face, but also like the resonance and the sustain is just crazy with it. Now, while I have this guitar on loan, I did want to try and write a song with it. This is something I'm trying to do more and more here on my channel and I am releasing those on Spotify. So if you don't follow me on Spotify or whatever less likely music service you listen to, like Apple Music, Amazon, iTunes, I don't know. If you don't follow me on those places and you like my demo songs, make sure you are following me. There's a link to my Spotify down in the description below. If you use another service, just search my name. I'm sure you will find me, but there's a link for the Spotify down below. Uh, here's the song I made with the thing. Yeah, it's just really, really interesting and really unique. Much different than any other guitar I've ever played. And this guitar is tuned to drop G. Why am I not playing this in C standard? That's what I normally play in. Uh, there's a good reason for that. Simon actually had this set up to drop G when he let me borrow it. And due to the unique nature of this guitar, I didn't want to attempt to set it up in a different tuning. So I just kept it, you know, in the tuning he let me borrow it in. Uh, the neck doesn't bend, it's aluminum. You know, it's like a solid aluminum neck. It doesn't bend. There's actually a shim in the neck to adjust the angle to get the action aligned. Per you know, it's just a lot of things. <laughs> it's just a lot of things. So for the sake of this demo, it is in drop G. Now it also has a Seymour Duncan slug 
prototype that uh, Simon got from Seymour Duncan in here. It's got a hip shot bridge. It's a very, very simple guitar. No switches, just the one volume knob. Very cool, I like this a lot. And I think that comes through in the playing. <laughs> Now, when it comes to the feel of the guitar and playing the guitar, it actually is very comfortable, surprisingly. You wouldn't think that like a giant metal neck would be the most comfortable thing to play on, but this one um, is very comfortable to play on. It has a super, super thin, like on par with the Wizard 2 neck on my Prestige Ibanez. I mean, it is just a very, very thin neck profile, but it makes sense because you can get it super thin being aluminum. And everything you know what I mean you're not worried about the neck like bowing and bending and having enough material there to uh, give it some sturdiness so I think that's kind of cool I think that's an advantage it has now with that being said um, it is metal you know so it does take a little bit getting used to just your hands especially my hands I'm little bitch hands so it did take some getting used to uh, playing it just sliding around because you know it doesn't give at all it's hard it's also very cold <laughs> when you first pick it up and play it I don't know if that matters or not. Now, I will link this specific aluminum neck in the description. I didn't sponsor this video or anything. It's just there for your information. And you can get different size aluminum necks and different scale lengths or whatever to retrofit whatever guitar you might want to slap it on. But, uh, you know, I think in this case, this one worked out really well. <laughs> The neck is actually like kind of shreddy, dude. Like in a way that I wouldn't expect something this long to be comfortable at. What am I trying to say here? The words are not coming out of my mouth. Uh, I wouldn't expect something this long to be comfortable and especially like shreddy in this way, but it just really is. And I would say that's actually an attribute and due to the fact that it is a metal neck and you can get it this thin without it like bending all over the place, you know? And if you can hear that, it's just very interesting the way like even the high notes just have more sustain and the way they kind of like bleed together. It's just very like uh, rich and musical, I guess, are the words that are coming to mind. I don't know if those best words to describe what I'm hearing, but it's kind of how I feel about it. All right, shout out to Simon for letting me borrow this guitar to show all of you guys. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you like what I do here on my channel, consider joining us over on Patreon. There's a link for that down in the description below. And until next time, see you guys later. Bye.